TypeScript has a feature called modules, which lets you break your source code into multiple files. Uh, when you're building a large application uh, with something like TypeScript, it's hard to put everything into one file. It gets unwieldy really, really fast, and uh, you wanna break this into multiple files. You can do that. You can essentially export classes or interfaces or functions from one file and then import it in another file, right? So that's the concept of a module. Each file can be treated as its own module and then have certain elements of the file imported into another file. That is, elements of a module imported into another module. Let me give you an example. You see here, this person class exists in this classes.ts file. All right, so you have this person class over here, and I'm using this in the generics.ts. I'm basically copy-pasting that class over here. We don't want to put this in two different places, right? We want to use the class that's defined over there. So here's what I can do. Let me get rid of this. And as you can notice, you see this error message over here because the editor is actually assuming that they are all one application, and it says I have this class showing up in two different places, right? We don't want that. We want to reuse the person class. Even though that's not an error in this case, it might be an error in a big uh, project which consists of multiple files which are broken down into modules, right? So we want to reuse the person class from classes.ts. So what does it take? to get this class, which is declared in another file, to be used in this file. How do I get that class definition? The way to do this is by exporting it from here and then importing it over here. The way to export a class from a file is by using the keyword export. So what this does is it marks this class as candidate for an export, so anybody can import this file, this class, from this file. So anybody can import the person class from classes.ts. Now, how do I import it? The way to do this is by using the keyword import curly braces, whatever you need to import. Here it's person from the file name, which is classes.ts. In order to do that, I need to do a relative path. So I need to do a dot slash to indicate that it's at the same level as generics.ts, and then I say classes. I don't have to do the .ts extension though because this is all TypeScript. I can skip, in fact, I should skip the .ts extension. I shouldn't provide that, but with this, I have provided the import statement which is required for this to work. So again, import the type within curly braces from the path and name of the file that we're importing, excluding the .ts extension. And now notice the person class is in this namespace. Now I don't have to de define it here and these statements work fine. I'm referencing person over here, but it TypeScript doesn't complain. Because what I've done is I've essentially told TypeScript that this is a type that should be available to me when I'm using my code. And so TypeScript now knows and it uses this. It's almost as if I've created that type right here in this file. Here's an important thing for you to remember. Now let's say I run this, right? So I say tsc generics.ts and uh, node generics.js. You're gonna run this, right? It works fine. Now notice the console output. It's printing out by name but I don't have my name printed out anywhere over here, right? There's no console.out, uh, console.log anywhere here which prints out my name. Well, guess what? That is actually coming from classes.ts. You see this? Classes.ts not only exports this class, it also has a variable which creates a new instance of person and it prints out the full name, which is what's printing out this thing. So when you import something from a TypeScript file, you're actually executing that TypeScript file. You're actually running the code that is over here, right? So that's an important thing for you to remember. And if you have stuff like this, it's gonna get executed as many times as it's imported. And you don't want that. You wanna make these importable classes, importable files to be stateless. You don't want it to do anything except export the types that you need. This is the concept of modules. You can break your code down into multiple pieces 
and have one file be like the thing that you execute. Typically people do like index.ts, which is kind of like the starting point and it imports a bunch of other files, which imports other files and so on. So you can have like a pretty complicated uh, structure uh, in place. But uh, this is how you use modules, it's a basic introduction.